Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, <clears throat> if you would hold hold on those slides first, let me ask these questions. Uh, folks, um, Dr. Birnbaum, Dr. Falk, can you tell me what percent of the Earth's atmosphere greenhouse gases make up? We're not focusing specifically on, on those issues, okay. but we know that the greenhouse gases that exist can have adverse impacts. But you don't know the health. percentage? I do not know okay. the percentage. The, the answer is 2 percent of the Earth's atmosphere is greenhouse gases. 98 percent is nitrogen, oxygen, argon, and other gases. Of that 1 to 2 percent of uh, greenhouse gases, do you know what percentage is, um, what makes up the largest percentage? 95% um, of that 1 to 2% is water vapor. Um, of the 1 and 2% of the greenhouse gases that make up the Earth's atmosphere, can you tell me what percentage carbon dioxide is? No. It's 3.62%. Uh, now, of this 3.62%, can you tell what makes up the largest percentage of carbon dioxide emissions in the Earth's atmosphere? No. Uh, the answer is nature makes up 96.6 percent of all carbon dioxide emissions. Um, how about the percentage of carbon dioxide emissions from humans? If you do simple math, that's 3.4 percent. So humans overall contribute to any greenhouse effect is something like 0.28 percent of the Earth's atmosphere. Um, if Chris, if we would put the slides up. So they're probably hard to see from there, but the, the first one has the Earth's atmosphere and the little blue slice is greenhouse gases, just greenhouse gases. The second slide is just the greenhouse gas. So you take that blue and th that's magnified by the blue circle. The red part is carbon dioxide, which is 3.262%. So then you take that red slice and you put it into the big circle to the next to it. 96.6% uh, of that is nature, 3.4% is human. So 3% of 3% of 1% is the human involvement in, in the uh, climate change, carbon dioxide um, debate. Uh, how, how do you all define hazardous in your research? Or do you, when you do research on the I mean, I'm not diminishing the great stuff we've done on lead paint and stuff. How do you define, ha what is, when you're doing your research and you're trying to find something in the groundwater or in the earth or, what is hazardous? What compels us to act? Dr. Falk? So, um, when we think of things as hazardous, we're a health agency. We're thinking of things that have potential impact on health. Right. And, and um, so what, I mean, is there like a certain percentage of certain, probably depends on the element, right? Yes. And how much is ingested or by the individual, is that correct? Right. And sometimes we have much better information on the relationship to disease. Right. Sometimes we're dealing with threats and risks and And that can change based dealing on with probabilities over time. As science and research continues sure. forward. That could we can get more information, we can say, Oh and there may be other contributing things that we don't know that work together. Um, can can anyone tell me how much carbon dioxide is hazardous to human health? in parts per million. There, there is a federal standard for that. Yeah, and, um, and uh, we're not the ones who set that. And, and, and that would but as a federal agency that does set that, do you know what that m number is? Um, I, I, um, I, I um, think that these are issues under discussion. I don't know the exact number. Well, yeah, and, and my, my point is I'm trying to tie yeah public health to other right. agencies and other, the answer is OSHA, which is a minimum standard, is 5,000 parts per million, is hazardous to human health. Now, do you know what, how much, how many parts per million of carbon dioxide, most of it naturally, 96% naturally occurring is in our atmosphere? The answer is 350 to 390 parts per million. So. If 5,000 parts per million is hazardous to human health by OSHA standards, and the atmosphere has only 350 to 390 parts per million, and that's what's viewed as hazardous, and 96% of that is naturally occurring, wouldn't it be more uh, a focus on us trying to stop the natural occurring 
carbon dioxide emissions versus the manmade carbon emissions? So, a a cost-benefit return? Yes. If I may, um, maybe I could take one moment just to um, describe our role. We're, we're, um, we're not among the agencies like NOAA and EPA that are actually trying to do all these atmospheric calculations and doing the modeling that would actually predict um, um, and model climate, uh, climate change. What we are focused on at, at CDC and, and, and um, in our program is um, um, understanding that there are significant concerns about this. Um, we are trying to support state and local health departments to assess potential vulnerabilities, um, to actually um, measure potential health effects that might be of concern, and to think about ways to deal with right. it. Right, and, and I appreciate that. And I'm not going, this is our only chance, again, as the, the minority to address issues. It is Earth Day, climate change is the, the I mean, the Senate's going to raise energy taxes and their proposal coming out today. Um, if we go to the last slide, the last one, go to. Um, the, the connection is this. The EPA has said uh, that man-made carbon dioxide emissions is hazardous or endangers the public health. Now, you all know the ramifications and issues of public health. Many of us be addressing the facts of the atmosphere, the amount that carbon dioxide is naturally occurring, 96%, the minuscule amount uh, that's on this next slide, that's just of the carbon dioxide emissions. Now, if you put that, go, go to the, the middle one. That little square goes up to the top. That's the perspective of the entire atmosphere and the carbon dioxide emissions and the man-made, which is a third of a third of a 1%. So we have to have our agencies talking, especially if they're going to make the claim that Car man-made carbon dioxide emissions endangers public health. And it is so minuscule, it's not even a blip in the atmosphere. Um, this, is, this is on Earth Day, Mr. Chairman. And so this is the issue we wanted to address. And I yield back my time. 